definition of the average profit, average cost, average revenue. And then I would like us to write again the product rule and the quotient rule. So what is the formula for average profit? Anyone, please? The formula for the average profit. Anyone, please? The average profit. P of x over x. Thank you so much. P of x over x. The formula for the average cost, please. C of x over x. C of x divided by x. And finally, for the revenue. R of x oh, over x. x. Excellent. Over x. Brilliant. Thank you very much. The, uh, the product rule. First function times the second function prime. How do I write the product rule? Please. My cheap markets are um, uh, markers are, are drying out. Please. F prime times G plus F times G prime. Brilliant. What about the ratio? The quotient rule. F prime times G minus F. G prime. This part is over, the same, yes. Over G squared. That's it. So basically, easy to remember, they are pretty much the same. One has plus, one has minus. Just the ratio has also in the denominator G squared. Okay, I have a quick uh, discussion for you. It's open, so please, I'm going to extend the, uh, the time a little bit. So let's start working on that. And I will extend it because I wanted you to have about seven minutes. So you will have the seven minutes from now. So I will extend it. So let's work on that. You know how to enter the answer, right? Click on those three dots and the square root. Or just take a picture of what you have on your in your notebook and upload that.
Is everyone okay? I need a bit more time. Yeah, you have uh, five more minutes. Almost done. Very nice you entered the answers. Thank you. That's awesome. Great job.
Okay, so let's uh, let's go over this quickly. So for the difference quotient, I'm sorry, for the uh, quotient rule, I meant to say, we differentiate the numerator, we get 2, and we multiply by the denominator, minus. We keep the, denominator, the numerator as is, and we multiply by the denominator prime, which is negative 3, over 1 minus 3x to the second power. And I saw that you simplified it. Thank you so much. So 2 minus 6x plus 6x and 3 negatives, so minus 3. Awesome. 1 minus 3x squared. These two go away, and the answer is indeed negative 1 over 1 minus 3x squared. Awesome. And I saw that. Uh, I think everyone did this correctly. Awesome. Thank you. That's great. Now the next one, the second one, I'm going to move this a little bit to the side. Okay. And now am I kind of, kind of. Okay, that's better. Okay, so the other one is uh, g prime of x. We differentiate the first function, and we get 4x minus 3. Awesome. And then minus 4x plus 7, and then plus. We copy the first one, 2x squared minus 3x, and multiply by the, by the uh, derivative of the second one, which is negative 4. Awesome. Let's distribute. So we have a negative 16x squared. Then I have positive 12x, and then I have positive 28x, and then I have negative 21, and then minus 8x squared, and then plus 12x. Okay, so let's see what we get. So we get negative 24x squared, these two. We get positive, so this is 40, so 52. So 28 plus 12, 40, 52, minus 21. Good. Okay, so um, what I wanted to uh, do tonight, any questions for me, please? Anything? Is there anything? Oh, I just wanted to let you know that it wouldn't let me post it, so I just uh, messaged it through Canvas. As long as it was before uh, 716, then I, otherwise I can't take it. I'm so sorry. Okay. So sorry. It would not be fair to the others. Okay, so um, other questions for me? Anything that you want me to show or go back to? Anything? Anything? I did have a question. Yes, I'm ready. Um, since the, home, the extended homework is due on Thursday, will we also get another one for today's class? Yes, or? because I have to finish 1.7 and 1.8. Okay, you, you, you. Yeah, you didn't have to use the time. So I extended and I have to extend it for everyone. I can't extend it for one person. I will not do that. So I had to extend it for everyone. So um, I wasn't expecting this because we had from Thursday to Tuesday night. So I think that was plenty of time, but things happen. Okay, other questions for me? Anything you need help with? Anything? Okay, in this case, we have to continue with 1.7. So remember, we just reviewed um, not all the differentiation rules, but we re reviewed the product rule and the quotient rule. We also have the power rule and other little things that we talked about. But now we're going to talk about a very, very important rule. And I promise you, for now, this is the last um, rule, differentiation rule, rule. It's called the chain rule. What is the chain rule? Well, the chain rule uh, refers to or, is a, or applies to function applied to another function. If you remember this, it's called f comp g. f comp g. What does it mean? It means that we first apply g to x, and then we apply f to g of x. So f comp g, 
of x is the function f applied to the g of x. Now, what is important here to understand, and once we understand this, we will never forget this rule, that this is the inner function, meaning we apply g first to x, and this is the outer function. So the first thing I would like to do now is um, identify some inner and outer. So if I say, or I write, uh, the cube root of 2x minus 1, can anyone give us the inner and the outer for this function? Inner, outer. If you look at this, you will say, oh, I know exactly what I need to evaluate first, and then I know exactly what I need to evaluate second. So what will be the inner function? If you are given this function, if I ask you to evaluate for x equals 10, what function will you evaluate first? The inner. Yes, which is? Yes. Give 2x minus 1. Absolutely. When you are done and you have one number here, one number, which function will you apply to that number? The out of which is 3 cubed. The cube root of x. So first, I evaluate this inner function for 10. I get 20 minus 1, 19. When I finish with that and I get 19, then I will apply the cube root of x to 19. Excellent. That's why this is very important, because when we differentiate, we have to use the chain rule. And here's how we use it. So here's the chain rule. f of g of x prime. So remember when we, when we evaluated it, I said we start with the inner and we continue with the outer. Well, we, when we differentiate, we'll go the other way. First, we differentiate the outer and we say f prime of g of x and then times the inner function prime. So I would like you to please remember to say this every time you differentiate a function of a function. Outer function prime, and you know what that means, differentiate it, times the inner function prime. If you always say this, you will never make a mistake. So here is an example. Let's say I have 3x squared minus 10x to power 4, and I want to differentiate. Which is the inner function and which is the outer function? If I identify those correctly, I will find the derivative correctly. I'm still adjusting and super adjusting here. 